Hi, welcome to Coastal Kitchen. Rupa here. Let's do a very simple recipe of chicken, which is called as green chicken. Stay tuned in to know how to make it. So I've taken a deep pan or a kadai wok, whatever you're cooking it. So that's on the gas. I've not put it on. Let's marinate the chicken first. This is approximately about 600 grams of chicken, which is curry cut pieces. And uh, let's season it. So add turmeric. Go a little low on the turmeric because we want the green color in it. Salt. And this is ginger, garlic and green chilli paste. About a tablespoon of it. So just rub this into the chicken. And leave it aside. Okay, so as the name says, it's green chicken. And I have a mixy jar which I'm going to grind a chutney in it. Green chicken is normally comes to your mind is it's normally made with palak, methi, mint, coriander, mixture of all of it or just with one. But this is just going to be made with a very simple chutney, you'll get to know about it. And I have a story behind it and how this delicious recipe was invented by me as a new bride. So what we're going to do is we're just going to use a lot of coriander. So this is about a cup of coriander which is chopped which will go into the mixy jar. Leave some for garnishing and in goes the elaichi powder, about half a teaspoon and then this is some poppy seeds. This is just to give a nice richness to the dish. This is poppy seeds, about a tablespoon. Then again green, so we are not going to use red chilli powder or garam masala or something a lot of green chilies, about two of them, nice big ones, some cashews, about 8 to 10 and this is some whole masala, nothing much, just half an inch of cinnamon, about 4 cloves and 8 to 10 peppercorns. So in they go, add little water because it's in a chutney form, yeah, and we'll grind it to a nice fine paste. It is ground to a nice green chutney. So let's keep it aside and use it when we require it. Now for the preparation, there's a kadai. Let's put it on gas. Once it goes hot, add oil. About two tablespoons. We have about two medium onions, finely chopped. Let them go in. And we have about a tablespoon of jeera. So add that along with the onion and saute. Saute till the onions go translucent. You can do this in high flame. It will take about two to three minutes. The onions have gone translucent at this stage. We will add the ground chutney to it. And mix well. A nice aroma is lifted from the coriander and the chilli and the cashews. So just stir in for a minute and add the marinated chicken into it. On high flame only, coat the chicken with the green masala. Let's lock in the flavors. Yeah. Do it for a minute or two till the oil has started separating. You can see 
and the chicken is nicely coated with the green and it starts turning white as it goes on high flame. So at this stage, add little water. It's again not a very liquidy preparation. It's got just masala coated on it. So cover. Simmer and cook for about 10 minutes. The chicken was cooking for about 10 to 12 minutes on simmer. Let's check on it. Yes. As I said, it's not got a very liquidy gravy. The masala is just coating with it. It's got a lovely green color. So what we do now is just put some grated coconut because I'm so used to this coastal side of cooking that without coconut I feel the dish doesn't taste good. So this is optional. You can always omit the coconut or you can put the coconut when you're grinding the chutney. You can have it either way. So just cover again and let the coconut just impart its flavor for about a minute or so. After adding the coconut, the chicken is on simmer. Yeah, it's got a lovely aroma. We'll just give it a mix. Yeah. And shut the gas and take it for serving. This will suffice for about 5-6, a family of 5-6. And you can serve it with either bread or just a little jeera rice or something. And it's a meal for the family. The green chicken is ready. As you saw, a very simple recipe. Not much of ingredients gone, but it's got a lovely green color and the aroma of the coriander is really enhancing it. Do make it for your family. Like it. Subscribe. Any query about the recipe, please write to me and share it with friends.